Hey everybody, Fetty here, and today is going to be just a little different kind of video. I'm not going to build anything, I'm not going to paint anything, and I'm not going to cut or saw anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sign down right here. Let me tell you a little story about this sign and what this was. About 25 years ago, they opened up a strip club, and you'd have thought the world was going to end. <laughs> But what I think is kind of funny about that is not long after they opened this up, when the, when the two sex stores went in up the road here, you know, nobody, nobody had a problem with that. But the strip club, whoo, boy, that was, that was kind of a big deal here. I'm right here in the Bible Belt here in East Tennessee, and uh, that didn't go over too well. And it was kind of funny what, the way they got it open is they kind of snuck it in under the radar and, and kind of snuck that business license in and, and got this thing open. Now this thing's been burnt down twice. The first time I think the Pentecostals got it. And uh, I think it they actually it got burnt down before they even got it open. So they got it fixed, got it open, and the establishment operated for 20 or 25 years. And as far as I know, there was never any incidents or, or anything you know bad that went on. And they just did went about their business. Well, about two years ago, it got burnt down again. I believe the Baptist got it that time. And once it burnt down that second time, the county hurried up and they changed their zoning and their ordinances and all that kind of stuff, and they're not going to let them reopen it. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I drive by here a lot, and I see a sign sitting up there, and I just hate to see that thing get tore down and tore up and all that kind of stuff because it's kind of a classic piece of East Tennessee Americana. And I've studied a little bit on coming up here one night and stealing that thing, but I don't want to go about it that way. So I just called the property owner and I said, hey, you mind if I buy your sign? So I've, I've paid for the sign and it's mine and it's legitimate. Now you might ask me, what are you going to do with this sign? Well, I'm thinking I've got a pretty cool pole barn I just built. And that sign would look really good on top of that pole barn. But the problem is my brother Day Day, he's kind of got dibs on this sign too. I see him pulling up right now. And uh, he's kind of wanting it too. So it, I don't know, one way or another, it's going to stay in the family. And this classic piece of East Tennessee Americana is going to be in the family, and we're going to have it. Now, I know you're wondering if I ever went into this establishment. And the, the truth is, is I'm not going to tell you. But if I did, I didn't go too many times because I would have been worried about running into my preacher while I was there. So that's what we got going on today. Day Day's here. Some of the other rednecks are showing up with a bucket truck. We're going to take this sign down. So let's get started.
Well, that's how you take the, the sign down at the local strip club, and this is kind of an end of an era. And I'm thinking about the, the poor little old strippers that don't have jobs now, but the truth is, is this is one of those places where they kept the lights really low. And uh, most of them, you know, they might have two or three teeth, one in their mouth and two in their back pocket. But it was a fun place and it, you know, it was kind of iconic part of where I live and where I grew up. So right now, we're gonna, we're gonna drink one last beer at the mouse's ear and close this thing down for the last time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, remember to give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.